Hello and welcome. In this video, I will discuss about a quite new browser which is called the Helium browser. Okay, I think until recently the Helium browser was only available for Mac OS, but recently it is available for Linux and Windows and I have installed that in my Linux machine. So I will show it to you and this is the helium browser in action so this looks pretty neat and it is privacy focused and as you can see the best privacy and unbiased ad blocking by default right so it has already ad block built in basically it is using the ublock origin okay handy features like negative bangs and split view okay no adware no bloat no noise people first and fully open source as you can see all of the source code is open inside of this github okay and this browser is quite awesome first of all let's talk about the aesthetics of the browser so i have opened the brave browser as well and i will just make it here and i will make the helium browser here as you can see the title bar and this search bar here are taking quite less space as compared to the brave browser or any other browser which i have seen so far so the vertical real estate of the browser is quite good and it is quite impressive and it is built on top of chromium which is very very nice if you are a web developer then it will be quite handy to you as well because chrome has by far the best developer tools and the developer experiences so far okay we have all of the extension support as well as you can see i have like a plenty of extensions installed and here inside of the extensions the ublock origin is installed because i selected that in the onboarding process you can uncheck the check mark as well like there is a button which you can check or uncheck and also there are a bunch of settings which we have currently right now and this browser looks quite good right this browser looks quite good there is no bloatware there is no ai stuff or something like that which i really like because i was uh, fed up with these sort of things like this leo ai or for chrome we have gemini for uh, like microsoft edge we have the copilot and so on and so forth um, these things i do not need in my browser so this is quite good in that regard the one downside is that if you want to see some sort of a DRM content, something like Netflix, for example, you will not be able to see the DRM content for that because it doesn't support the widebind licenses and the license cost quite a lot. So I do not think in the future as well, there is a possibility of that, but who knows? So that is one thing to point out here. but. The browser itself is quite stable inside of the Linux machine, which I am currently using and it is quite good. It is quite good. If you do not know, like many of the browsers in my case, basically the Chrome browser and the Brave browser uh, close unexpectedly sometimes, but I did not face that particular issue with the Helium browser yet. Okay, I'm not sure for the future updates or something like that, but uh, at this moment it is quite stable. Okay, and here I'll just close the Brave browser currently right now. And here we have these two tabs open. And as you can see, the tabs are quite small, which I really like. And what I can do, I can open a new tab and I can just type the exclamation mark and then w and hit tab so it will search in wikipedia by default so i will do something like isaac newton okay and hit enter and the wikipedia page will be opened which is awesome okay so i don't have to click a bunch of times so this is a one feature which i will definitely use the other feature is the split tab view so what i'll do i'll just right click on this tab and then i will click on this add tab to new split view okay and just click on this and now we have two tabs open side by side 
and this is quite handy as well so if you are using the browser let's say you have opened chat gpt on one side and you have opened uh, something like youtube or something like that in the other side and you are searching for something inside of the chat gpt while watching the videos or following some sort of a tutorial or something like that it is quite handy in that regard so this is something which i will be definitely be using and yeah this is looking quite good and this browser the helium browser is quite awesome like the first impression of the helium browser is quite good and this might be one of the best browsers currently out there okay so i will highly recommend you to install the helium browser it is available for linux as well as the app image but if you are using something like arch linux based distribution which i am currently doing right now so i will just open a new tab and search for helium browser arch linux and okay i misspelled that but we have this particular package which is helium browser bean which is available inside of the arch user repositories so you can use yay or paru or something like that to install the helium browser into your machine which i also did basically i used yay to install the helium browser bin okay so this is how you can install the helium browser as well and if you are in mac or linux you have the executable files i believe okay all right so this is the helium browser first impressions which is looking quite good okay so i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have please like share and subscribe to this channel awesome let's catch up in the next one